the Pac-12 Women's Tennis Tournament ha has been released in terms of seeding, and there is only 11 teams that have a sport. And it starts on April 26th, and it lasts till April 29th. And all these times are Pacific, Pacific times. On April 26th, eight seed Utah takes on the nine seed Arizona. The six seed that's at 9 a.m. The six seed USC takes on the 11 seed Washington State at 3 p.m. The seven seed Oregon takes on the 10 seed Utah at noon. On April 27th, the one seed Stanford takes on the winner of the Utah Arizona match. The four seed Washington takes on the five seed. UCLA at 9 9 a.m. Arizona State, the 3 seed, will take on the, either the 6 seed USC or 11 seed Washington State, I mean, at 6 p.m. Now, the 2 seed Cal will take on the winner of the Oregon Colorado match at 3 p.m. Now, on April 20, 28th, obviously the winner of the Stanford match takes on the winner of the Washington UCLA match at noon. The three, the winner of the Arizona State match will take on the winner of the Cal, Cal match at 3 p.m. And of course, we know the championship is literally the next day at 3 p.m. It's the both semifinal match winners. So... I'm going to go, like, first of all, it's kind of important, I would I would say, for Arizona, for starters, they're on the bubble, Utah is on the bubble, Oregon is on the bubble, I mean, technically, Arizona and Utah have the best shot, Washington State, the only way they're going to get in is just win the conference tournament, I mean, Colorado is like, they project to be like in the 60s and Oregon's in somewhere in like high 50s. Yeah. I don't think they're going to get past. Even if Colorado does take on Cal, maybe. But you know, Cal is playing better now. Well, obviously this term is important for Stanford who would definitely be in. It's a matter of are they going to be a top 8 seed. Because it is an advantage to be hosting first three rounds in the NCAA tournament. Now, that's the only top 16, period. Unless UCLA goes on a run and wins the whole thing. But even then, it might not be enough. I mean, Arizona State would be in. Washington would be in. Cal would be in. USC would be in. Utah and Arizona are the two teams that probably have the best chance. But that basically, that match against each other is... Lose, and you're going to go to the NIT, or not, if you could get even like, even get there because it's only for the top eight teams. I mean, that's the thing. And even if the winner wins that match, they're going to take a one seed Stanford. I don't think it's likely they're going to win, but you never know. I mean, that's why college tournaments are played. So. And of course, these times tournaments do exist for those bit stealers to potentially get in somehow. But then wait and see what happens. Anyways, if you like this content, hit like and subscribe. See you guys later. Five subscribers, we're on the road to it. Let's go.